Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a compilation of Halloween hauls. I was finally able to recover my files, so I hope you don't mind this long video. I am actually able to post more regularly on TikTok, and most of my hauls and stuff are on there first, so make sure you're following me on there. It's just Desert Flower Channel on all platforms. Okay. So, let's move on to this mega Halloween haul. The first item is this dish towel set. It comes with three of them. And this is the pattern, and then there's like a plain black one in the middle. And this was $7.99, and I thought these were so cute! Last year, my bedroom happened to be all pink spooky items, so I thought this would be great to go in the bathroom that's in my bedroom. So... Instead of using it as a dish towel, I will be using this in my bathroom as my bathroom towels. And I, of course, got some mugs. I am a mug collector at this point. If you haven't seen my mug collection videos, I will link those down below. But these two are so cute. This one, I wasn't sure if I should get it or not, but every year I like, I seem to pass it up. And I guess this was the year, $9.99. I still need to think about this, if I should keep it or not, because I do have a poison apple one, but it's like a, a black and iridescent one. This one is more of a classic, you know, poison apple. But $9.99? I don't know about that. $9.99. But I do like that it's iridescent. So, we'll see if I keep this or not. And then, we have this cutie. $5.99. I thought this went perfectly with my dish towels. Oh my goodness, so cute. I have hauled a similar item in the past. And it is this cute little ghosty guy. And let's see, he was $19.99. And he actually extends. So I do have another one of these. And after that, I never found another one until now. This one I think is smaller than the one I originally had, but he's still so cute. Hey guys, so I just got this delivery. It is from Kohl's, as you can probably see. I made some purchases, some Halloween purchases. It all started with a single mug. And then the purchase kind of grew from there because I, I just had to get free shipping, you know? And um, yeah, I went, I went a little crazy. <laughs> mug that started it all. Look at this little guy! <laughs> wow, he's really heavy too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, pretty weighted. Um, let's see, it says $11.99 on here. It's a little pumpkin mug. Look how cute! And then, when you look inside or finish your drink, there's a little black cat. <laughs> it's a little peekaboo mug. How cute! Let me see if it shows the price on here. This is also $11.99. Ah, this is the spoon rest. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's a spoon rest. You can take these little stickers off. But I don't have a spoon rest. And every time I'm cooking, I always think, oh my gosh, I wish I had a spoon rest. And I saw this guy. He was $12.99. And I did have some coupons and stuff that I used. So all this was like on sale they were having like some kind of sale and i used a coupon so keep that in mind these are all the original prices that i am stating this is a little trio set of dip bowls <laughs> these were originally 24.99 uh unraveling for you guys right here here is the ghosty it matches our little mug over here so these are actual bowls, as you can see. Next guy, right here, a little jack-o'-lantern. what it looks like, it's practically like a little bowl. Okay, and then the last one is this black cat. So cute, oh my goodness. You have like a little Halloween party, a little spooky night, spooky movie night. These would be perfect. The ghost, I think, is definitely my favorite though. <laughs> these are amazing. These are stacked mugs. How cute! He's like a, t a little bit smaller than like, this mug, you know, the regular mug. Oh my gosh! But I love this size. Oh my, oh my goodness! 
These were so cute. Okay. These were $24.99 originally for four mugs. That's actually really great. So we have Witch's Brew, like a little cauldron on the bottom, jack-o'-lantern, a cat, and a little ghosty. Perfect for my little collection. Oh, this is so cute. Wow, and I'm so impressed with their like packaging. They package everything so thoroughly. So here is the first mug. The little ghost. With this little trick or treat pail, a little jack o' lantern. Then we have the black cat. I wish I had um, green eyes. Then we have the jack o' lantern, a classic, and the little cauldron. Okay, here is a better view of all of the items that I got. I am so thrilled. Oh my goodness. The Halloween hunting has begun. Here we are with another home goods haul. Oh my goodness. And it is that beautiful time of year where all of the Halloween goodies are trickling in and I've already found some amazing finds. All right, so where do we begin? Let's start with these little guys right here. This is a six foot garland and how cute is this? This was the only one there and even the cashier girl was like, oh my gosh, where, where did you find this? This was like hidden deep in the bowels of all the Halloween decor that they were putting out. And I got really lucky. And I love these. Look how they have this like little shimmer with them. So I don't know how I feel about them being all like wiggly on the top, you know? Maybe I can iron them. I don't know. But it has like a wooden beaded garland, as you can see. And oh my gosh, this looks so cute. So I can't wait to decorate with this. Oh, and before I forget, this was $14.99 for this garland. Next up, going along with the ghosty theme, we have this beautiful mug. Look how iridescent and pretty. And this was $4.99, which that is like the perfect price for mugs. I love when mugs are $4.99. <laughs> Some of these mugs nowadays are like so expensive, it's ridiculous, but this, this is perfect. Speaking of mugs, I did find this guy. He's also iridescent. Very, very beautiful. This was also $4.99. You can also gift this. It has like the little to and from card on there. This just reminded me so much of Jack Skellington, like the nightmare before Christmas. It just looks like it belongs in that movie. All right, next up we have this beauty right here. I don't like how there's like stuff smudged all over it, but um, that's how it was when I found it. This was the only one there. And Aquamarine is my birthstone. And for the longest time, like since I could remember, I always wanted like a bracelet or a ring or anything with my gemstone. And I finally was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to buy it for myself. And this one had like a little moon, a moon charm. So cute. Um, let's see, this was $16.99. I don't know why Aquamarine is so hard to come by. I remember going to Salem and there were several shops with like crystals and stuff and they almost, like none of them had Aquamarine. Anyways, I'm glad I found this. Next up we have this, I guess, an impulse purchase. <laughs> this was in the pillow section and oh, it just looked so pretty and matched perfectly with my um, Harry Potter room. Um, I don't know if I have that video up yet. I, I don't know why. It's been done for like over a year and I've yet to edit that video. I'm just, I, I film things right away, but then like editing just takes me forever. So then I put it off, put it off, put it off. And it's just it's like a whole year later. Anyways, but this will go perfectly in that room. Um, once I do upload that Harry Potter room tour, I will of course link that in the description box below but make sure to stay tuned for that video because it is epic absolutely epic I, that's my favorite room in the entire house anyways but um this pillow it's not just like a regular pillow it is weighted like there is actual weight to this and i didn't even know weighted pillows was like a thing but apparently it's good for anxiety and stuff like that so i was like huh very very interesting this was 14.99 and oh, it's just beautiful. It's like soft velvet with gold thread. I love it. And I love anything with like stars and moons and um, suns and all that. So oh, just gorgeous. And finally, I have this little cat trio 
pillow trio, I guess? I don't know if they're pillows or just like stuffies. I don't know. But this was $39.99, which is not cheap. But it does come with three and they're very heavy. And this is what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> I think I need to iron out their whiskers because uh, it's looking a little rough, as you can see. Um, yeah. But there's the dad, the mom, and the baby. And I always wanted a black cat with green eyes. So I guess this guy is going to be the closest I get. Um, <laughs> I haven't fully decided if I'm keeping them or not. I just can't decide. They look kind of deformed, and I don't know if they were... If they're like, just like that, or if they were packaged rough. I don't know. But um, I also need to see if they like stand up on their own, because if not, then I don't know. Because right now they're having difficulty standing. But... Um, <laughs> Or sitting, I should say. But, like, you know, because in the picture, you know, you have them sitting. They look so cute. But hopefully I can figure out how to get them to stay like that. Alrighty. First up is this big wreath. I have been on the lookout for a Halloween wreath. I don't even know how long. But, oh my gosh. <sighs> I, I think this is it. I, I've been very, very picky, but... Um, I don't know, it just seemed to always be let down, but this, th there's something different about this. I I'm not a big fan of the spiders, so I don't know, I feel like I would rip them off and maybe put pumpkins or something instead, but even if there were bats, like I would have preferred bats, I just don't like spiders at all, but um, I don't know. I have not found a wreath for years and years and years, and I see this like beautiful wreath, and I was instantly attracted to it. So, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Like, it, 0 to 10, on a scale from 0 to 10, how would you rate this wreath? Do you think it's fabulous? Or do you think, it, eh? Like, I thought of making a similar one by myself, but then I was like, okay, by the time I get all the stuff to make it and all that, it's just going to cost just as much. Speaking of cost, let me see if I can find it on here. That is the cost right there. 30 bucks. And I loved this because this had all of the colors that I decorate with. So it has orange, black, green, and purple. So I thought this was perfect. But again, let me know y'all's opinion. But it also had like these random pipe cleaners, which I know it's supposed to like hold things in place, but I thought they would hide it a little bit better. I don't know. I, I think I have to just go through and just kind of mess with it myself. But other than that... I just think it's so pretty. I love the colors and I really like these little jack-o'-lanterns. So cute. Very beautiful. And these purples, wow. I love the finish of these. And we have these guys right here. This you may have already seen. This is from Michaels from their, it's not from their Halloween line. I forgot what line this is exactly, but um, I just really liked Secrets. And glitter I don't know <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I'll use this for honestly but we'll see I could probably use it as like a makeup storage like for makeup sponges um, actual glitter like for my nails and stuff so we'll see oh gosh but these originally I got them on sale but originally they were $19.99 each and then also for Michaels I got this beauty right here this shelving unit i have two others of this but it's like a cream version like a cream color which i store like perfumes and stuff on um but i saw this black one and i was like oh my gosh this would be perfect for my harry potter room to hold like little potion bottles or something um even like my little like halloween succulents oh i think that would be really cute too actually hmm but very, very nice. I love the details. Very pretty. But I also got this from Michaels as well, from the same line, as you can see. And this was originally $24.99. I don't know why I liked this so much. Um, you can, I think, yeah, it's to be like hung on the wall, I guess. Meant to hung on the wall, but just looked like a really beautiful tray, but then you can also, like I did have like a blank 
area in my Harry Potter room and I thought this would fit perfectly, but it's just so pretty. Then we have this beauty, which I just happened to see. Like, um, it was like behind all of the Halloween decor in Home Goods. So it's $14.99. And I almost didn't notice it, but it was literally like all the stuff was in front of it. So I feel like someone hit it. I'm not sure, but really, really cute. I, I just wish the year was different. I wish it was like older, like way older. But I mean, that's just me being picky. But it's really nice, sturdy wood sign. All right, let me show y'all the ghosty pillows. This is a little duo that I picked up from Home Goods. There's the girl and there is the guy. Husband and wife, look at them. So cute. This was $29.99. How adorable. Honestly, oh my gosh. So stinking cute. I was on the hunt for this little duo. As soon as I saw people hauling this, I was like, I have to have my own. Thankfully, he's pretty soft, and it, I did it mainly for the look, not for the feel, but you know, it is it is pretty soft. I have yet another Halloween haul. Let's go with this guy. We'll just start at this end. I thought he was super cute. I don't know if I'm keeping him. <sighs> I'm trying to be ruthless. I just, I saw all of this and I got a little overwhelmed and I went a little crazy, as you can see, with Halloween shopping. So I need to, I need to return some of this stuff because, oh, it's just, it's too much, too much. But anyways, this one is $9.99. I just, I think he's cute. I like his little attitude, you know, just chilling. Then we have this gingerbread, gingerbread car, van, and it lights up. I think it's actually backwards. Oh gosh, there it is. This guy looks like he's been through something terrible. But he's a little ghosty. And I know this is a hot find this year, but it's pretty expensive. Let me see. Yeah, $40. Oh gosh. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to return him. This is too expensive. This little girl is, let's see, oh, was $5.99. And I've been wanting her for like years now, like ever since I first saw people hauling her. But now that I have her, I don't know. I just have so many more like cuter ghost mugs. So I'm trying to be like super picky. So I think, I think she's gonna go back too. Let's go with these little guys. Um, this was $14.99. It says happy Halloween and it actually lights up. Let me see if I can get it to light up for you guys. There it is. And I thought these were so cute, but I don't like the spider. I kind of want to turn him into like a top hat. And also, I don't know what's going on with the ghost's mouth. It looks weird to me, but... So, that's why I'm not quite sure if I'm going to return this. Where to next? Let's go with this little mug stack. These are so cute, but I don't like the handles. I wish the handles were just white. Like a little ghost, you know, with a hand on its hip. You know? Let's see, how much were these? Oh, these were $9.99, and they're like little espresso mugs. Then we have this little cutie right here oh my gosh if i can pick them up it's like a little pinkish pink ghost you know very light pink 12.99 from marshall's as you can see very adorable and last but not least we have these nail what are these nail gel strips and i actually have some on right now tried this one um I actually bought two of these, so the other one is upstairs. These are really cool. I loved the patterns. You can see this little ghosty one. These were all, uh, I think, how much were these? $4.99, yeah. This one was really pretty. And then this one, the one on my nails. Really nice. I'd never tried anything like this before. Um, and these aren't the easiest to get on, I'll be honest. Um, and like you can see, like there's little, like, you, you have to like put it on and then file off the excess. So it's like not very clean, the like final result. And when you try to wrap your nail around it, you can see like there's wrinkles and stuff. It's not as noticeable, I guess, because I got a dark color on, but 
Um, I don't know if it would be even more noticeable if I did it with like a light color. You know what I mean? So, um, but I just really, really love doing my own nails and I love these patterns. Um, and also, you do, like, at least for this one, I got two strips of this. So there's like one underneath this as well. But then there's only two of these, like, and I already used them up on my thumbs. And then there's only four of these. So I already used up two of them, one for each hand. And then there's only four of these. But this one, you have like 20 of these available. So eventually, like, it, it has enough to do like three manicures in one box, but eventually I'm gonna have to have a manicure with all of the same thing, which, I mean, if you like the pattern, that's, you know, it's not a big deal, but I like, I liked this pattern more, which is the only reason why I got it. I wish this, like, amount was this much, you know what I mean? Like, I wish there were like 20 of these instead of 20 of these. So just keep that in mind. The prettier ones, typically they only have like, literally like only four, like what you see there, but, the more plain ones, I mean, not, these aren't plain by any means, but the m less exciting ones are typically the ones that they give you a bunch of. So just keep that in mind. But I do think it's cool that for $4.99, you have technically three manicures in here. Let's start with this guy. This is a poison apple cookie jar. And I have its companion right here, the poison apple mug, as you can see. This guy was, let's look at the price, $24.99 from, I believe, Home Goods. And it says hand painted. The faces look a bit different, as you can see. And then we have this guy. I thought this was really cute, but this was, let's see how much this was. $16.99. I haven't seen it since. Like I haven't seen another one of you this painting. But um it's not really a painting, it's like almost like printed on to the wood. Next we have this gorgeous haunted house. <laughs> And um, this is my first like haunted house. It's like, I, I don't have anything like this. So I was pretty excited. I always try not to buy like big and um, more delicate things like this in case um, it breaks. I just, I'm terrified of things breaking. I'm scared of like the snapping off, but this is just too gorgeous. I just had to take it home with me. It has a little witch in the front. Um, I, I just, I really want to paint this like green or something because uh, I don't really like the orange. Um, but we have some pumpkins, I mean jack-o'-lanterns I should say, on the side. And the detail is really pretty. There's glitter on it, which I love. But um, if you don't like glitter, then just, just a fair warning. That's what the back looks like. On the side. Oh my gosh, and it's pretty heavy too. And it lights up. I love the trees on either side too. It's very pretty. Let me let me light it up for you. Let's see. Can you see that? It's a red light inside. And oh, that was another thing that I was worried about. I'm like, what if the light bulb, like something happens to the light bulb inside or something? But if the light stops working, it's still such a gorgeous house. And I was like, man, this is like somewhere that I wouldn't mind living. Like, look at this. This is really pretty, and this matches perfectly with some of my other decor. But before I get there, let me just show you guys my new book, because I don't want to make a whole nother video just for this one book. But um, I just happened to pick up a new book from the clearance section of Barnes & Noble. Um, it's very interesting. Like, I went through in the entire Barnes & Noble, and I was not expecting anything from the clearance section, but they have some really good books in the clearance section. I have hauled several books from the clearance section before and um so i would definitely check out their clearance items but this is like a collection of some of the sherlock holmes stories i think there's like 12 of them and let me show you the back so um arthur conan doyle himself selected the best adventures of the great detective so that's what we have in here and it was only 10 bucks as you can see and it has some illustrations and i love that there's like 12 separate little stories um i've mentioned before on my previous like book hauls and stuff i love books that have like short stories so then it's like it just seems faster to get through 
and especially if you're like on a road trip or something or like before bed you can finish like an entire story so i really like that <clears throat> but it is a really nice book very beautiful as you can see next i will just show you this little guy um it says i open at the close and all you harry potter fans should know what that means and we have a little golden snitch on the top Oh my gosh, and this is Ray Dunn. Um, it's $14.99. It's microwave, dishwasher safe. You can even um, use it to bake in the oven. I thought this would be a really cute, like, serving dish, or what I, like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I would love to make, like, a little um, cookie, like a warm cookie, and serve it with some ice cream while watching Harry Potter. <laughs> so, yeah. I typically buy um, Harry Potter stuff just for my Harry Potter room. I thought this was just a cute addition to the kitchen, so I don't know. Hopefully this does not mean that Harry Potter is going to take over my kitchen too, so I don't know. <laughs> but I just really, really like this. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Ray Dunn. Uh, I mean, I, I don't like mind it, but I don't, I'm not like crazy for it either. But I just really like the Golden Stitch. I thought that was cool. Next up, we have these two beauties. And I have not seen this since, like, at any other store. And they only had these two. And the um, cashier lady was like, oh, my gosh, I just put these up yesterday. And um, I haven't seen any since. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So that was a sign for me to definitely, definitely get these. Um, this uh, is $24.99 each, which is so expensive. Ugh. But Rachel Zoe, I love, like, all the things that she makes. <laughs> I seem to always get her stuff, like, her um, Halloween stuff. Um, every year so anyways um, if this is just like a vase with like this beautiful wreath around it and it has bats and this is like it's glittery but it's, it's like it doesn't shed and the um, cashier was also like oh this kind of reminds me of that rock candy and I was like that's so true it does look like the rock candy I don't know if it's showing up as clear on camera but it's so so pretty it has all of like the colors of fall, um, you can see yellow, gold, orange, even a little bit of red, and there's even green with the glitter, and you have the bats, of course. Um, I wish like the bats were detachable so I could use it for like Thanksgiving too, because it's just so pretty. But either way, I just think this is gorgeous. Like I can just imagine it on my dining table, um, like part of my dining setup for Halloween but yes I don't know what I would put in here if I would put more flowers or a candle maybe I'm not sure yet I would love some ideas but yes absolutely love these in a, another uh, home goods I actually found these wreaths and I had been looking for a Halloween wreath for years since I've started decorating so for like I don't even know like seven years or something so I'm obsessed <laughs> and it as you can see it matches perfectly I have two of them I have this one and the one in the bag I am trying to keep them pretty safe I only took them out just to show you guys but um just fair warning these do kind of pop off so you can't be rough with them at all <laughs> but um I don't know how to I don't know if I should just like go over all of this with like Mod Podge or something, but that would be quite a task. <sighs> but anyways, these these are um, $19.99, also by Rachel Zoe, as you can see. I actually have a couple of other items that I forgot to film. One of these being this super cool haunted house pillow I found at Ross. This was $12.99 and it is so cute. It'll be perfect for my Halloween setup on my couch. And I love nothing more than curling up on my couch with a freshly lit candle and maybe some tea and a cozy little book. So I went a little crazy with buying some uh, new books. Well, they're new to me. Most of them I got from Half Price Books and um, you can always pause and get the details. If you can't see uh, the details on here, just let me know and I'll let you uh, know the full title of the books. That is the one I'm currently reading, Murder at the Pumpkin Pageant, and so far it's pretty good. I just really love having an easy, cozy read. 
And I also ended up getting these two notebooks, which are so gorgeous. I couldn't decide on which one, so I ended up getting both of them. But I absolutely love pretty stationery and notebooks and journals, so this will be perfect for my collection. And of course, you can't be cozy without a set of cozy PJs. So I did get three sets from Marshalls. This first one is so cute. It has like a buffalo plaid, like a mini buffalo plaid with jack-o'-lanterns. And then this one is like a velour set. And it has like little jack-o'-lantern faces imprinted with a like neon orange piping, which looks really cool. And this one is not very fall, but it's a Juicy Couture PJ set, and it is so soft and cozy. I typically go for PJ sets with shorts, so that I can wear them in the warmer fall days, especially if you live in like a warmer climate. Fall weather doesn't hit you until like November, so these are perfect. I'm not going to be buying any more Halloween. As far as Halloween shopping, I think I've done more than enough damage. <sighs> but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video again please leave a comment as to if you would keep these items or not and also which item was your favorite are you going to look out for any of these items on your halloween hunting um let me know other than that please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye